Next up, I'd like to figure out if CO3 T minus is polar or nonpolar. So I need its Lewis structure, which is going to be 4 plus 3 by 6 plus 2. C O3 2 minus 18 plus 2 plus 4. And so I have 24 electrons to work with. And so if I have carbon as my central atom, bond it to three oxygens, fill in the oxygen's octets, see if I have anything left. This implies 6 by 3 plus 3 by 2. So 18 plus um, 6, which would indeed give me the 24. But carbon's octet is not full. And if I did make carbon's octet full, I'd have over the idealized 24. And so let's deal with that by adding in a double bond, which would cancel out um, one pair of electrons there. So now I have um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I can check my formal charges. And on these two oxygens, it will be 6 minus 6 minus 1. So they'll both have a minus 1 charge. On the carbon, it is going to be 4 minus 4, giving me 0. And on this last oxygen, it is going to be 6 minus 4 minus 2 giving me zero. So this one has charge of zero, charge of zero, and then you have two negative charges, giving you a final um, net formal charge of negative two, which is exactly what we had expected. And so this structure is valid. You will find that I do have resonance structures because I can decide to place this double bond on any of these two. And so I can have this. And lastly, I can have this. So these are all of the resonant structures that I could have for this. The negative charge could be here, or here, or here, and here. And usually, if I just want to draw one structure to represent all of this, I will draw both um, the initial contact and the partial um, double bond that is technically on all three. Because I have a partial double bond here, a partial double bond here, and a partial double bond here. And so I will just reflect that. And this is the structure I'm going to investigate um, when I try and figure out the geometry to find out whether it's polar or nonpolar, rather than saying this one is polar and this one isn't, because I am dealing with one structure, and so I should have one answer. And so if I now investigate this, I will find that I have three terminal groups around the carbon, which indicates I have sp2 habitization, which would mean I have a trigonal planar geometry. If you want to double check the chart, three groups and zero lone pairs, trigonal planar. And so I just go about drawing it like that. And then I check out the dipoles and whether they all cancel. So oxygen, the oxygen, and two oxygen. And these dipoles will all cancel out because the angular component here will cancel to give you just one dipole pointing down, and that will cancel with this one. And so I will have a dipole moment of zero, which indicates that this structure is going to be nonpolar as your final answer.